Our story started with um, a typical Saturday. She went back to the bedroom to work out. Uh, about 45 minutes later, I went back to take a shower, and when I got out of the shower, realized that um, something was wrong. Went to find her and realized she was face down on the floor in the bathroom uh, and had had a seizure uh, and uh, was unresponsive. Didn't know what had happened at that point in time, but knew that it was serious. When it comes to the nervous system, time is our enemy. Anytime you delay a treatment, you end up losing the opportunity. And uh, for that reason, when we establish the Arkansas Neuroscience Institute, uh, my first goal was to be able to establish a setup which is available 24-7 around the clock to help patients and physicians, and they want to get them to the right place as soon as possible. Once we got to St. Vincent's and they got her in, of course, it was they were still trying to figure out what was going on, and they did a scan on her pretty quickly, and Dr. Abulum uh, came to me and said she's had a brain bleed of some sort. At the time, didn't know what exactly had happened, and said that it was basically very, very important at that point that we get the pressure relieved from her brain because that's what was causing the seizing. And um, you know, it, basically they told me at that point was, it's either this or you know, we're gonna lose her if this doesn't happen. So he made the call and they did it there in the ER to get her stabilized. We were kept very informed. One thing about Dr. Chris is he never, he never even though he had a massive group of people with him all the time traveling uh, from room to room, never felt like he was rushed, never felt like he was hurrying through. He had four other things to do. Um, literally had cell phones ringing, somebody answering a cell phone for him while he's um, helping us. So he, ne he never ever stopped dealing with his patients while we were here. At St. Vincent's made us feel like we had a team there the entire time from the nurse staff to Ramos to Chris, everybody was there for us. The goal that we wanted to achieve at a and when we established it, we were able to apply it in her case. And that is to not lose time. So from the minute she presented to us, uh, the availability of our team and the immediate initiation of treatment have really made a major change in her, in her outcome. The quality of our nurses, the experience and the knowledge they have, which we pay a lot of attention to it, has also provided her with the ideal team, in my opinion, to take her from this very critical period when she came in and she was in a coma state to where now she is walking and talking. And this is the reward we like to see in all our patients. And this is the reward that can only be achieved if you try to beat time, and be on top of things, ahead of things, and she is really an example of what our program wants to achieve. And I'm hoping that we can apply this not only to conditions like hers, but to all the different conditions related to the brain and spinal cord. You take somebody that basically for all practical purposes should not have made it to somebody who now is walking, talking, driving. So Suzette has really become involved with St. Vincent's and their hope to create the Neurological Center in North Little Rock to have this hub in Central Arkansas so that um, there can be more stories like Suzette. Dr. Chris personally has been an amazing man to me through all of this difficult time I've been through and he has he's done he's done miracles. He really has. I, I can just see from now on I'll tell people the positive experience that I got and how they can do that too.